Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. This is the sixth tutorial of 3D CAD modeling of robotic arm in SolidWorks. So we will be designing two parts of the robotic gripper in this tutorial. This is one of the parts that we will be designing in this tutorial. This is a part of robotic gripper and this is the part of the robotic gripper as well which will be used to hold the pieces and place it somewhere else. So let's begin. This is the part that we have designed in our previous tutorial. So I'm going to go to file, click on new, select part and click OK because we are modeling a new part. So I will make sure that I have selected here millimeters as units. Select front plane, click on sketch. And then I will select here a center rectangle and create a center rectangle at this origin like this. Now select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length and the width as 30 millimeters. Okay, then go to features, select extruded bar space and I'm going to specify here blind because we want material on one side from the sketch and the length is 160, check the box. So this is very easy. So I will select one of the faces, this one and click on sketch and then I'm going to select here uh, center rectangle and create a center rectangle at the region like this. Do not overlap anything. Hold the control key, select these two lines, make relation equal. I will select smart dimensioning tool. I will specify the height of this line of the rectangle as 40 millimeter, right? And then I will go to features, select extruded bar space and right. So here I'm going to change the direction from here because we want the extrusion in this direction 80 millimeter is the length of extrusion or you can say depth of extrusion i want the material on both sides so i will select here mid plane okay so okay i will select here selected contours i will select this part and this part to be extruded right and not the center part i will check the box okay so this is what we have done in our previous tutorial as well. Just a change of dimensions a little bit. I will select here um, the fillets and I will specify the radius of the fillets as 15 millimeter and pretty much same as our previous tutorial. I'm going to select here eight corners. Five, six, seven and eight. Pretty much same as what we have done in our previous. So if if you have selected any wrong face or edge you can delete it from here okay and check the box from here definitely after that I'm gonna create here a hole so I will select this face and click on sketch I'll select the circle so I will hover over the edges just to find the center here is the center I will create a circle at the center I will specify the diameter of this circle as 15 then I will go to features I will select extruded cut here and here specify through all and check the box through all because we want the cut through on the other face as well all right so now I will select here chamfer this is different thing from the previous tutorial right so make sure that you are selecting um, either this side or this side doesn't matter I'm going to select this edge, this corner, right? And uh, here I can change two parameters. The distance, right? As you can see in the yellow color. The distance I am going to specify as 120 millimeter. So this is going to be the distance. You can vary uh, this angle, right? So let's say 6 degree is going to be good one. But let's specify as 8 degree change it to 8 degree and after that I'm gonna check the box from here so chamfer has been applied now we are left with the fillets and definitely we will be applying some material so this is an optional thing you can apply any color you like but fillets is a mandatory thing so I'm gonna select the fillet and I'll select these corners 2 millimeter fillet is going to be perfect okay this is dangerous I'm not gonna do that I'll cross it I'll select the fillet again and again I will do the settings 2 millimeter radius 
okay so manually select here do not select any of these options right do not select so I'm gonna fast forward the video a little bit I'm gonna manually apply all of these fillets if you want to see closely you can slow down the speed of the video if you want and after applying the fillets I'm gonna save the part so for that go to file click on save as and here select um, specify gripper part 3 as the name of the file you can cross it from here after saving it but I'm not gonna do that go to file click on new because we are going to create here the final part of the robotic gripper right make sure that you have selected MMGS here create a sketch on the front plane so I'm gonna select a circle here create two circles at this region simple and here specify the dimension 60 and 80 for the circles 60 millimeter and 80 millimeter the diameters for the circles right and after that I'm gonna select here a center line for the reference it will be used to mirror the entities later so I'm gonna select this line make relation horizontal just to make sure that this is a straight horizontal line okay then I will select here a line and create a line here I will select this line make relation horizontal just to make sure that this is perfectly horizontal okay I'll change the direction of this line I'll select here three point arc so one two and three points great I will select this point make relation tangent expand it a little bit okay so from this point to this point here specify the horizontal distance as 60 great don't worry about these uh, adjustments we will fix it later so I will go to mirror entities and uh, in this very window this right here where my cursor is I'm gonna select the line and three point arc and mirror about this window I'm gonna select this reference line so this is the purpose of the reference line it is used to mirror the entities right so I uh, finally I will specify the radius of any of this arc 39.5 so it will automatically be applied to the other arc as well because that is the mirror okay so now I will use the trim entities so this right here is the trim entity I will trim this part very carefully trim this part as well so it has turned into the gray one which means that it is ready to be extruded so go to feature select extruded boss base and here 36 millimeter as the depth of extrusion and direction I'm gonna change it to mid plane because I want the material on the both side of the sketch as you can see it from here the yellow colored material check the box now I want a plane that cut this part in half like this for me it's right plane so I will click on right plane and click on sketch it can be different from you based on where you have started okay so create the circle at the origin like this the diameter is 30 millimeter so I'm gonna specify 30 okay and now we are gonna go to feature select extruded cut so this is going to be a little bit technical a little bit tricky so I will select here through all for the direction through all and this is the from where we are gonna select here offset and we can give it some offset as you can see the yellow colored material very carefully see that so I will select here 40 millimeter through all and check the box so it will cut it like this so that's how we can cut it applying material is an optional thing you can apply whatever you, material you want you can apply fillets so I want to apply the fillets on two edges this one and this one change the radius to two millimeter and then you have to save the part so go to file click on save as and here specify gripper part 4 and that's it see you in the assembly tutorial guys